Hi Lorraine again here back to talk with you about experimental collage and it's something I've been thinking about for quite some time now is how I want to proceed on my YouTube channel with my uh, tutorials and my demos and I do want to focus in on doing process videos, experimental collage process videos using and encouraging you to use along with me stash that you've had that maybe you haven't used in quite some time or that you thought about using but didn't know exactly what to do with it. We're going to work on things just like wood and canvas, even cardboard, a journal page, and just watch as we apply one layer after another what evolves, be open to surprises and a fresh look at what collage can be and also not that it would change what you already do but it would just add a spontaneity that perhaps you had wanted to have before that you were working towards having and maybe just needed to do it along with someone else, like me, and we do it together and we learn together. If you see me run into a problem and how I manage to get around it, some of the chances that I might take in adding a paper or paint on top of already painted paper or maybe putting a piece of fabric in or a piece of trim on, piece of lace or whatever it might be. So I'm going to shut the camera off and then I'll be back with some of the things that I've accumulated, that I have, just to get you a little enthusiastic and, you know, maybe to say, oh, gee, I never thought of that. Let me try. Let me see if I have some of that. Let me do that. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Bye. Okay, so here I am back again to show you some of the things that I have and whether or not I use any of these or all of these, just to give you some ideas on what you can pull out and possibly consider to do your collages, your experimental collages with me. And so here, here is just some papers. This is the wax paper that I've printed on. Just beautiful papers. More paper done on tissue paper. And I can be showing you some of these things in following videos. The tissue paper printing would be fun to do. And then there are, you can use fabric. If you have pieces of fabric, I get these from discontinued wallpaper places. Or you may have your own because you do enjoy quilting or using fabric in various ways. I had pieces of leather. I don't even remember where I got them from and uh, some were painted on. I have bags of cut up color coordinated, actually I put my things color coordinated, but you don't have to just pull everything out in bags that I could possibly work with in the future. And of course, I'll move some of this out of the way so we can see a little bit better. We have trim any kind of trim that you might have. I'll put this on a color that you can see a little bit better, hopefully. And these are all trims that you can use. And then I have a bag full of beads, colored beads. And I have yarns, fibers, so you can pull anything out that you have like that. And, I don't know, I bought this, I believe in Walmart, it just appealed to me, so that's something else, I could cut that up. I love cording, we can use cording, we can use string, we can use whatever you have, anything. And also have some of these little things that I made at one time, just took them out. These can also be used as focal points in a piece of artwork. And these, I thought this was so much fun. We'll be doing it on a lot of different things, but I bought these yesterday in the dollar store. 
Aren't they great? They're little canvases. They were only a dollar each, and I just love them. And they're big enough to do something really um, fun, and yet small enough that I can work on the camera with them. I bought this also in Walmart, and this was, I think, I think it was two dollars, and it's it's a piece of canvas board, and of course there's mat board, and paper, and cards, and cardboard you can work on in your own home. That's certainly experimental. So be thinking that way, and join me again. I'm open for a learning experience for myself, and I hope that you will be too. And I'm really looking forward to having you join me. I love this art form. It's a no mistake art form. You just keep layering paint and fabric or paper or embellishment and till you get what you want and you see it evolve and it's, it's really quite fun. And I hope I'll be seeing you again. And thanks for watching. I'm glad I made contact with you in person today. Take care, bye.